So, what have we done so far? Chapter one has said that belief is natural. Belief in some overall deity who's looking out for us. In chapter two, we argued that actually doubt is part of faith. That doubt in this overall being looking down is a part of what it means to express your faith. Not a theological, not a sorry, a scientific atheism, but a theological atheism, a sense that we are alone, a sense that we have been abandoned, a sense of taking responsibility for ourselves is an experience that we should embrace. And then I argued that we should experience the trauma of that idea and not just intellectually affirm it. Finally, I suppose I should say, why do I think that this is good? Why do I think experiencing the trauma of doubt is a powerful, positive, and important thing? Well, in order to understand it, the best way to do it is to ex um, use the example of marriage. Marriage is a horrific thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it is terrible. It's awful. I mean, I, it's one of the worst things you could ever do. And, and, and proposing to someone is one of the most horrific acts you will ever, uh, you'll ever do. If you do it, you, you know you're mad. It's horrific, it's disgusting. And you know, look at it one way. You are imposing yourself on someone that you love for the rest of their life. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> you should be ashamed, that is horrible. That's a horrible thing, you know what you're like. You know all of your dirty little habits and thoughts. And, and yet you're going to impose yourself on someone else. It's horrible. Or look at it from the other perspective. You're going to let someone else impose their lives on you. They're annoying half the time. They're terrible. And you've got other dreams. You've got other things you want to do. You could be free and they're going to let that person stop you and impose themselves upon your freedom. It's awful. And we all know that so many things can go wrong. When you're young and in your 20s, you, know, you meet someone, you go, oh, it's written in the stars. This, is, this is, has to be. This is the person for me. Nothing can go wrong. Or even God saying that I have to marry. You know, it's, it's so perfect. And as we get older, we realize that that's rubbish most of the time. You know, most, you know, most relationships, are, there's affairs and breakdowns and arguments. And even if it's good, when somebody dies, you know, it's horrible. <laughs> right. Now, but you know what? You can, only, you can only experience the true beauty and romance of proposing when you ex experience the horror of it. You know, we're, we're obsessed with trying to find a romantic way to propose. You know, you know like uh, I'll skydive out and, and I'll do fireworks and uh, whatever, you know. The reason why we're obsessed with trying to find a romantic way of proposing is because we have stripped proposals of what makes them truly romantic, and it is their horror. So you have somebody and you're talking to them and you're saying, actually, you know what, you love this person, you're gonna marry them, well, you know what, here's the statistics for divorce. And uh, you know, probably, look, you know, she's, she's always out there partying and she's probably talking to other people and whatever it is, and it's probably not gonna work. What happens, the guy goes, yeah, you know, I suppose you're right. Well, yeah, I'll just forget it, walks away. Gotta ask, well, what was that? But if at the end of that, the person goes, yes, of course, I don't know if I love them. I don't know if they love me. In fact, sometimes I hate them. I know, I, and the idea of spending the rest of my life with them sometimes fills me with dread and horror and I want to be sick. <laughs> but I am compelled to say, will you marry me? Compelled, I want to, I can't help but fall on my knees and say, be with me for the rest of your life. The doubt doesn't take away from the experience. The doubt makes, fa makes you come to terms with who you really are. You see what you're made of, whether you bleed love, whether it's your flesh and your blood or some sort of abstract idea. You find out whether it's a material thing or nothing at all. But now I'm too long. I was moving off, but now I'm too long. 